Hi, I'm Ian Smith. I'm a singer-songwriter based in County Donegal. Um, some of my friends nickname me the Songsmith, which is really complimentary. But I suppose, just like a blacksmith has to find the right shoe for a horse or a pony, I have to try and find the right music for the right lyrics and the right lyrics for the right music. People often ask me, is it the Scottish-Irish history, or rather the people in the landscapes that inspire my songwriting, if I'm writing a traditional style song? Uh, well, it obviously plays a big part in it, you know, the, the, the landscape can be quite inspiring, and especially in the west coast of Ireland or Scotland. Uh, but at the bottom of everything, a lot of songs are about human beings and human relationships, which can be written and take part in the landscape that uh, belongs to Ireland and Scotland. Uh, they all play a part. It's like a jigsaw puzzle and you put it all together, you know. Uh, and also, as an example, um, I have to try and find the right melody for the right um, lyrics. Uh, I'll give you an example of one particular song and uh, just let you hear how my mind works when I'm trying to write songs. <coughs> The graveyard is silent, his neighbours long gone There's no one to sit by his side That's quite dark and quite sombre uh, and I think the melody works with it, the melodic structure of the minor chords work. Uh, the other alternative to show you where my head's coming from is it really wouldn't, I could write the song but it wouldn't sound right if it was like The graveyard is Silent his neighbours long gone There's no one to sit by his side I don't know if that gets my point over but that's one of the things that you think about when you're trying to write songs to match everything so that it works properly. Okay. <laughs> People often ask me uh, is there a recipe for writing a good song? What makes a good song? Uh, I think if I knew that I would be a multi-millionaire. Um, there, there are certain rules, but there's no specific recipe. For me, one of the most important things is uh, if your song can tell a story and paint a picture. If you can paint pictures for people, uh, then you're halfway there to making it a really good song because uh, people get, they relate to it. Um, because a song is a thing you hear. It's not a thing you can capture. You hear it and it's gone. You can play it on your CD player, but when you first hear it, it just comes into your hearing and then it's gone. So you have to try and create and paint a picture with it. That would be my biggest um, sort of rule, trying to make it clear that there's a picture painted. I remember when I was young, uh, in my teens, I heard a lady who would have been a folk singer come, I don't know what she'd be, she wasn't tried, she was Canadian, uh, called Joni Mitchell. and. Uh, I think I was about 17 years old and I heard a song called My Old Man and at 17 you think you know everything and you know nothing and I heard in a record store that her, a song was playing that was a song from My Old Man and the lines were um, but when he's gone me and them lonesome blues collide the bed's too big the frying pan's too wide and all of a sudden I saw the picture I saw the big frying pan with maybe one egg in it. I saw the bed with one person sitting in the middle of it. I got the picture that was painted and that was the first time I was made aware that song lyrics can paint pictures and if you marry them to the right melody then you can make it of a good song. Uh, so that would be my first rule if you can try and paint a picture uh, with the story you're trying to tell uh, you're halfway there. I know that the Irish Folk Festival introduced uh, Irish culture, Irish music, Celtic music in a much bigger way uh, to the Germany and Switzerland, Holland, long before we had uh, the popular river dance style things. Uh, so it's been a really important integral part of uh, German and Irish sort of culture exchanges etc. Uh, so it's always enjoyable to go and do these tours. One of the biggest compliments that uh, can ever happen to a songwriter someone like myself, is for other artists to, to sing songs that you've written, uh, which I've been quite lucky with happening for me. Uh, so that gives me a lot of satisfaction. 
but I also like to sing a lot of established traditional songs, Scottish and Irish mostly, uh, because it, it's always been in me when I was young, I started in that tradition, uh, so I do a lot of other trad songs. Um, really, really looking forward to doing the Irish Folk Festival tour, uh, because I've always found that the the people who come to concerts in Germany, Switzerland, Holland, are very, very knowledgeable about Celtic music. So it's a challenge, but it's an enjoyable challenge, and they do appreciate uh, Irish, Scottish, Celtic music. So uh, Germany, here I come. <laughs>